soon I be, came to have um, some happy accidents with my camera. And this is one, I was in um, a circle, a seance circle at night, and there was a red flashlight, and we were passing around the flashlight, and you're supposed to say what you see um, when the people would pass the flashlight and sit and meditate. And it's a thing called transfiguration and spiritualism. And this woman took the flashlight and everybody was seeing a second face right next to her face. Oh, it looks like you, but it's not you. It's floating right next to you. Well, maybe it's your doppelganger. Oh, maybe it's your grandmother. Maybe it's the voodoo priestess Marie Laveau. I did not see the second face. I saw a woman holding a flashlight and I tried to make a straightforward photograph of it. But this is a picture I got. Um, and, you know, in this low light situation. And this accidental photograph was more psychologically true to the event than any straight photograph I could have made or, or thought to make. And I found this accident, this coincidence, thrilling. And it was synchronistic, it was uncanny. There's another technique that's uh, popular with several mediums where they use their eyeglasses to scry. And this is when the medium sits in trance with glasses on and photographs reflections. I, I included a few examples because it's kind of hard to see, but they say the spirits come in right over their eyes on the glasses. And then they, they post them online and try to pair them with, um, for messages to people. And here's Sylvia using a Xbox motion camera. Uh, so she'll have the, the Xbox camera track her body and then she'll direct it and ask the spirits to come in and communicate. In this one, she's asking it to shake hands. And Sylvia takes videos of herself and she captures the video at points of corruption using these digital riffs to illustrate her experience of the ineffable. And there are thousands of these corrupted screen grabs which she compiles into digital notebooks. And there, so she has like thousands of these and um, they inspired what I ended up like when I was working with her. This, uh, her work inspired mine, this idea of her morphing or deconstructing, or the spiritual concept of masking, where um, you, know, you see other things on a, a medium's face. And a lot, spiritualists talk about these ectoplasmic masks that appear, and there's a long tradition of this in spirit photography and also in, throughout spiritualism. And um, I documented the session with Gordon using long exposures, and in every picture I made, Gordon looked very different. And these are um, some of the pictures I made. And then there was this picture, and I almost didn't want to put this on, I ended up giving him all these pictures on a, a hard drive. And I didn't want to put this picture on because I, it was like a little spooky. The the mustache looked like a little bit like Hitler-esque, and I was like, oh gosh, I don't want to give him this picture, but he saw it on the screen and he said, that picture, that is the picture, that is the best picture you did, I love that picture. And so I put it on the thumb drive and I didn't think about this picture again. And then I was back in England six months later and he invited me to his home. And he said, I have to show you something. And he brought out this carte de visite of his great grandfather. And so um, this was one of the strangest photographic synchronicities I had uh, it, as an experience when I was playing with the, the photographic process in these seances. And um, Gordon believes that it's his, it's his great-grandfather as seen in this image, and this is, this is in the show also.